Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're going to address the specific issue that when you accidentally trigger the airbag light, maybe you uh, unplug the seats because you were cleaning the car, or maybe you are working on the steering wheel and you um, you had that removed, then you turn on the ignition that triggers the airbag light when you even after you reconnect everything. Or sometimes when you're working on the doors, door panel, there's airbag sensors, crash sensors, impact sensors on those doors. And if you unplug those and then you turn on the ignition, then your airbag light stays on, like it is in this case, even though you have reconnected everything. Uh, airbag system and airbag light is not the same. Like It doesn't work like the check engine light, that if you disconnect the battery, it will just reset on its own. Or if you drive for a couple of days after you fix the issue, it just resets. Airbag light is still gonna stay there until you clear the code. So I'm gonna show you how you can use the Ucanic scanner to clear those codes and reset the airbag light. Screen, select diagnostics and you'll see the list of makes and then you go down to select whatever car you're working on uh, every almost every car that's out there at this point you can select the car or do smart VIN after you select whatever make you're working on and this is gonna detect the correct software for whatever car you're working on press OK press left for left hand steering or right if you're in the UK or other places where they use right hand steering and then here we go to control modules and then in this case um, so sometimes you have airbag or SRS right here in this case you have to go to um, body and then airbag sometimes the airbag light comes on just after you have a dead battery the voltage drops too low airbag control module recognizes it and then you still replace the battery put a brand new one but you're gonna have codes in here that say low battery voltage in this case uh, we probably have a, a code for left seat or well, I have a bunch of codes you can see right here a bunch of sensors that were disconnected they're all connected now and that's why they all stay stored 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 but if if you have one that says current that means that sensor is uh, has open circuit has an issue needs to address to be addressed but in this case we have everything stored so that's good um, if you just your light came on because the battery died you have the same thing you just have a couple of store codes we can click erase select yes now you do have to cycle the ignition uh, off for 10 seconds and wait 10 seconds and then go back to on and then select yes And then it says no false found. And then we're gonna read the codes again. And now we're gonna take a look at start the car and see if the airbag light resets. So you can see the airbag light is still on, but let's remove the key, put it back in, start the car. And let's see if that will turn off. And there we go, the airbag light just turned off. And that's it. Um, so this will work if you um, disconnected one of the airbag sensors like that could be on the seat or anywhere on the car really and you reconnect them uh, as long as that everything is fixed now sometimes if you get an accident if you one of the airbags blow is blown and you replace it not only do you have to clear the codes like in the way that i just showed you but um that will not be enough because if the car has been an accident and any of the batteries have any of the uh, airbags have deployed then the airbag module needs to either be replaced or be sent to a shop that can repair airbag control modules because they are supposed to be only used once after an, uh, an accident. And that's why just clearing the codes doesn't reset your airbag light if you have had air, uh, airbags that have deployed. Uh, so keep that in mind uh, if you're dealing with a car that's been an accident. But things like this where battery died or you just had to jumpstart the car, airbag light came on, or maybe sensors was unplugged or things of that nature are pretty easy to diagnose and clear the codes once you uh, reconnect and put everything back together. And thank you for watching Mechanic where you can be the mechanic.